Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Twitch in the mid lane. The reason why he's so strong in the mid lane right now is a few patches ago, they buffed his passive to scale more with AP, which is crazy because he was already a viable mid laner and support. So right now, he's a late game carry. He's an early mid game carry as well, as long as you can find some roams or get some kills. For your best runes possible, take Hell of Blaze, Taste of Blood Eyeball with Treasure Hunter or Relentless Hunter, alongside Presence of Mind for the mana, Alacrity with Tax Speed, AP, and a resistance so we're up against vex so we went for mr your best start is dark cell refill with ghost flash for the most kill potential possible ghost also gives you a lot of survivability level one you typically go for q because it costs less mana than your e and you can set up your hollow blades with it really hard that being said we don't really want to take a bunch of backline damage here so if she doesn't position for it then it's kind of hard to find so we get the triple auto that trade was pretty successful other than missing the minion she took more damage than we did. She also ended up using more mana because we get a bunch of mana back from Presence of Mine. Plus Q is only 40 mana level one. I'm going to make her eat an auto for that. She's not going to get that minion for free. Absolutely not. I'm on a refill now. Even if you can't find a kill early on, as long as you don't die and you can get decent value from refill, it's an easy way to kind of build a lead. Because a lot of mid laners don't really take refill. They start with D-Ring. And they have to pay for their potions. Vex is a bit of an annoying matchup. But we will outscale her. She, she outranges us a bit. It's not easy to get to her without W. We want max E first. Q second. W last. W per level doesn't really do anything extra. Auto attack E. Barely got that minion. It was trying its hardest to suicide. Barely getting a lot of these. She's she's uh, pushing in pretty hard here. Wanted to find a big trade, but she wouldn't give it to me. Two, three. There we go. That's the Hell of Blades. Not an amazing trade since we're tanking cannon, but... Yeah, in hindsight, not good. <laughs> we took so much damage for it. Oh, well. As long as we don't die, that's the key. Staying alive is absolutely essential. She's fishing for a kill. I'll reset here. There's no reason to stay at this point. Me and her are both pretty low. She's low mana. I'm low HP. Oh, wait, she started with Corruption Potion. That's kind of an interesting start. We'll look for boots and some attack speed. You can rush tier 2 boots. It's not bad, but it is kind of reliant on your jungler either camping your lane or you being able to roam. Since Vex has so much wave push, we're not really going to be able to do that. We're going to lose that whole wave. We'll roam bot here. That whole wave's gone. We can't get there in time. The turret's going to one-tap that minion, and my wave should kind of be in a semi-freeze position. We'll go ahead and ghost for this. 10 seconds of movement speed into Q, which is also 10 seconds of movement speed. And we're moving at 475. It's about boots and mobility. We're going to go in for an auto attack W. We missed a lot of that slow there. We should be able to get a kill here. Eat a little bit too early. We needed one more auto. I think Caitlyn was on Ghost. She was absolutely hauling there. Ghost is kind of the meta at the moment. Auto attack into the E. We get Q resets. Full on Q reset. She's dead 100%. And that's why Twitch is annoying. He doesn't usually win lane by killing his laner. Because relatively short range. Low damage early on. He wins lane by roaming like what you see there. We find a nasty roam out of base. No one expects it. Especially in solo queue environments. It almost always works. If the lanes are scrapping hard. That W is going to let us push the wave. And inflict some damage on her at the same time. Just like so. We might end up missing some of these last hits, though, because she's playing so far up. Yeah, she played She played for that kill. She gets it. She used both sums for it. At least we get to reset. I didn't think she had that type of damage output with a refill or a corruption. She doesn't really have damage items. Typically, you want to go for lucids or you want to go for uh, Swifties on AP Twitch. Sork shoes kind of suck. Berserks kind of suck on AP Twitch as well. Those aren't typically worth it when you already have Hella Blades. I'll go catch this cannon wave real quick and then look for the bot roam. She's not going to want to stay, I don't think. Let's 
Get an auto on every one of these. Full stack passive. Auto attack into E. Now we'll push the wave once again. We want to get an auto on all of them, especially the melees, and try to put W on the front line and the back line simultaneously. Just like so. And now we can look to roam without really missing any gold or XP. People will often lay control words here. It's kind of annoying. But they do have to pay for it at least. Then we bot lane is starting to back up now. That's fine. We're applying pressure. Not really missing out on anything either. Let's see if she uses an ability to push. When she's holding on to her fear there, when she's red, we don't really want to hit her. Or at least not with an auto or we're risking getting chunked. All right, got most of those. She uses her abilities on wave. I'll look for the roam opportunity. Yeah, it's a cannon as well. It's a great time to roam. We have tier two boots as well. Just need to stay alive and get dark seal stacks. This seems to be control warded. Unfortunate, it is what it is. Doesn't look like we've lost a minion yet. Looks like one melee, we'll lose two. We should be there for the cannon. She bought an oracles, that's an interesting choice on Vex. I'm not gonna use W on this since it's already under turret. Auto attack E. Vex is looking for her own roam now. I didn't ping it. I figured my teammates would have seen it, but in hindsight, pinging that would have been a good idea. Enemies are a little bit more paranoid of roams than my teammates might be at the moment. Vex isn't usually known for her roams. Like Once she's six, her roams are okay, but she doesn't even have boots. Go ahead and reset here. Get some attack speed. You will oftentimes run out of mana on Twitch mid if you're not hitting the opponents for the presence of mind mana refund. With that being said, typically your best mythic is on Night Harvester for repositions and re resets and mobility in team fights. It's pretty nasty. It's five separate speed ups, 25% for 1.5. If they have a burster on their team like they do with Akali and Vex, then Crown and the Strattered Queen is pretty good. Lots of mana. And survivability which is really what you want on twitch big wave pushing to me mid i'll have to leave here in a second there's nothing here push this real quick and then roam back to my lane i gotta go though i don't want to miss too many minions that's such a fat wave i'll probably end up missing the cannon here with as many minions as I'm missing, the enemies are missing bot side though. Vex's wave clear is problematic. We still have going the fact that uh, we do outscale her though. Nice, got it. We're close enough. Recurve bow helps with last hitting a lot. Decent on hit damage. I don't think she has a control word right now on the map. Nothing to really roam to here. The W costs a lot of mana, so does your E. Absolute heaps. Your Q is your cheapest by far. If we can put his autos on these without wasting mana. We can force her to use her abilities on the wave. No, we're not really using our own. We juked out her Q. Not a horrible trade because she burned Ignite for it. I don't necessarily have to back right now. I could just use refills and trick her into pushing the wave because she thinks I'm backing right now. It's actually fine. I'm gonna stay. Not bad. I'll be able to get most of this as well. Just miss one melee. Not bad. Out of mana, time to reset. A really good back on Twitch is uh, Lost Chapter. We actually can't afford it. I'll go ahead and stay. I really, really, really didn't want to stay, but we almost have enough for Lost Chapter, which is basically infinite mana. Every time you level up, you get a huge chunk, plus it already gives you a lot anyways. This will at least kind of force her to come back to lane or miss five minions. 
back up reset. Let's ping her out where she might be. Gonna have more range than their whole team. Annoying things to deal with when you're playing Twitch are things like... Uh, actually, we'll finish Nash first. I think Nash is too important, actually. The damage output puts super, super high on it. So she loses five minions, I lose five minions. This tempting is getting a lost chapter as we really need to finish Nash, then we'll grab it. The Nash damage output allows you to stack your Dark Soul like crazy. Ghost is up, so it's time to shove a roam with Ghost and get a nasty uh, pickup. Pretty slow game overall, I'd say. Bit of a random Kha'Zix gank. Auto attack into the E. Get a couple of stacks and launch it. Oh, am I going to miss cannon XP here? Alright, we get the cannon XP. I'll go ahead and stay and push because their bot lane's missing. Twitch takes ganks really well, especially with Flash Ghost. Even if the enemies have decent mobility, you can only stay on top. Secure the kill with your E and whatnot. She hasn't hit me with an ability yet. There's her first one. She's dead. Very nice. Kali's extremely low. Wouldn't mind killing her top side. You don't have to roam bot or top. You can choose. You can even roam the enemy's jungle and kill them with your jungler. Or if you think they'll be low health, you can kill them by yourself. All right, it's not a bad time to reset. We're sitting on a full Nash. We'll probably lose the rest of this wave. It's fine. Not a huge deal. I'm about to roam out of base with my ghost. Triple pink for the Vex roam. My teammates are looking to ward now. Sure enough, there she is. Exactly like we said. Even if my team's died to it, it's important not to ping them. Because they already know they're in the wrong if they die to it. If you type to them, it just makes them mute you. And they won't hear your pings for next time. Go ahead and pop ghost here. 10 seconds of movement speed. Got Sona Flash. Couldn't... Ooh, nice. All right, not bad, not bad. We'll take it. Ghost OP, bro. I think... Uh, I'm actually not sure if Caitlyn Flash, but I know the Sona Flash. Vex could potentially one-shot me here is the scary thing. Please don't do it, Vex. Don't do it. Okay, she didn't have a ward. Good. Our auto's chunk now. They do pretty much double damage because Nash. We have 79 physical on hit. And then we're having 60 magic on it. It's kind of cool. That ability doesn't do much damage at all. Very little. It's her Q that really does a lot. We got an E on her head. She misses R. I don't even know if she had the all-in potential to kill us there. She's not a full item. She doesn't have a Q either. She went Dark Harvest. The waves aren't there. Their wave's going to be where your wave is, just on their side of the map. So we know we have time to roam, especially since it's a cannon wave. It'll take her a while to push. Hey, Sona. Auto attack W. Auto attack in E. Q reset. I can threaten uh, Caitlyn here, potentially. Auto attack W and up my R. Down she goes, and it's time to reset. Vex doesn't have R to really punish me. I am going to back up a little bit just in case. Oh, cool. I ran into a trap. Sick. And that's the Twitch playstyle, guys. Just surviving lane, getting CS. Whenever you reset, you usually roam. Or whenever you shove wave, you'll typically look for a roam. Once you're tempted to stack Dark Sill, pick up a Mesh. Grab Blue Ward level 9. Really simple. Your win con is not getting solo kills in lane. If you're managing to get solo kills in lane, the game's already over for the enemies. Twitch doesn't really have solo kill potential in lane unless his opponents are massively misplaying. With the Nash, you can kind of just shove away without even using mana if you have to. We might as well use some mana though. Get it dumped fast. We've roamed so much and we have CS advantage. That's pretty nasty. 
Her fear is on a cooldown. This doesn't seem to be warded. She does have a full item. Put double auto on backline and they die from my poison. Poison is absolutely chunking right now. It's doing so much damage. 10 true damage per second for six. So each stack is doing 60 true damage. They take... They're taking uh, like 360 true damage if they're full stacked. My passive on them. A lot of true damage. This early on in the game. Oh, she ran. Dang. They're all kind of missing. Did they AFK or something? Or are they just hiding? Everybody's hiding, bro. It's nothing to gank. Put the fear of Twitch in them. <laughs> I have some vision. I'll play towards my control ward. She's playing so safe. Vex doesn't have very good escape tools versus range champs. Against melee, she can fear them away pretty easily, but against range, it kind of puts her in a spot. There's nothing for me here. I could go roam bot side with my ghost. All right, here we go. They're about to get annihilated. I thought she R'd. <laughs> she just autoed me, but I thought she threw out an R. Path back to the Nami and we're chilling. Auto attack E, down she goes. She got her stuff on me. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. My bad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I lost 10 mesh on that too. Shit. Dang, dude, the Sona bait. I don't know if her R was on cooldown or if she was saving it for next game or what, but she turned around and started an animation. It turns out it was just an auto attack. I didn't want to get stunned by her R because then they probably both live. Oh, geez, dude. All right, let's get uh, Crown. Crown for the tank. I gave them a thousand. Oh, okay. I gave them 800 gold off dying there. So even though I got two kills, they got more gold than I got there. At most, I got 600 gold and they got 800. Nasty. We're not even getting bonus movement speed for Mesh because it's at eight stack instead of 10. We need more stacks. She had me hit with her freaking exhaust. That's annoying. That's unfortunate, man. I hope I get assist on her. It's a decent Nami R. I just wasted my E. Sheesh, that's not what I wanted at all. No, no one's getting what they want here. I didn't get an assist, and we didn't get a kill. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, cool. Kha'Zix letting me have it. I wasn't going to steal it from him. But I did want it. Twitch is a little bit mana hungry. Why is everyone... <laughs> the way they're moving. Boy, oh boy. What a game. Feels like they're all hiding. All the time. And it's because they are. <laughs> uh, might as well shove this since we're over here. Fast shove. Nice, nice, nice. Kali's in a weird spot. She has a ravenous Hydra. It's going like kind of 80 a Kali. It's very strange. Caitlyn in the brush. She's going to die. She's so fast though somehow. Nice, I get the movement speed now. I am fast again. Nice, nice, nice. Waves pushed. They're all grouping up bot side. Super heavy. Sad Nami died. It is what it is. The enemies are choosing to play a very kill heavy game right now because they're behind in kills. Hey Nami, WR. I kited pretty decently there. 
She didn't hit me with any of her abilities because I was just outside of the rim of it. She, all she hit me with was her smite and then the FF. We'll go ahead and do a part two. That was only a 20 minute long game. I'll give you guys a flavor of another matchup. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part two of some Twitch AP in the mid lane action. Up against Zerath, not a great matchup. Most likely we're just gonna have to shove him in and probably we're never gonna be able to kill him. He has so much range. He's gonna see us coming from a mile away unless we're invisible. And even if we are invisible, since he has ranged autos on the minions, we're only gonna be able to get in so many auto attacks. I think my team's setting up an invade here. Our invade's probably a little bit stronger than theirs. Uh, Lucian, Heimer's level one's pretty strong. Lots of kite ability. My level one's a little better than Zerath for all inning. He just has better poke. So yeah, yeah. Once again, Hellblades with Taste of Blood, Eyeball, Treasure Hunter with Alacrity, Presence of Mind, Attack Speed, AP, and a Resistance. Since it's in Magic Damage Champ, we went for Magic Resist. I'm going to start Q and make sure we don't get cheesed. A lot of times you get cheesed really early on Twitch. Got him with the triple auto. We only got aggroed by one minion as well. I think Zerath's best not starting Q unless he's trying to permashove wave. Because this Q's a skill shot and his... Right? <laughs> and his eye move where you, the slow isn't really a skill shot. Because if he puts it underneath you, there's no way to really dodge it. There's really not... Unless you have a dash in your kit or tier 2 boots. And even then with tier 2s, you can't really get out of the way of it in time. Got our E now. We can start to pressure him off the wave. Level 2 advantage and whatnot. Ooh, I almost missed that minion. We've been juking right a lot, so now he's throwing it wide on the right side. I'll go back in for another uh, cycle here. I'll attack into the E. I'd say that was overall a favorable trade. He shouldn't have gone in for that last auto. That let us get a lot more passive damage on him by refreshing passive. To where we almost got off an extra E there. Which is kind of funny. You do not want to have a lot of stacks on your head and then walk up for a straight auto attack. Pretty much never going to out trade that. It's way too much damage. I don't know if he thinks we're roaming or not, but we're going to do a lot of damage to him here, potentially. Dodging out a lot of his stuff, just barely. Because he's not able to pressure us with autos. A lot of times, autos is what gives you the pressure to land skill shots on any given champion. But since our autos and passive do more than his, especially with Hell of Blades, it's hard for him to take that trade because it's just not going to turn out very well for him. Uh, this wave is actually going to push to me. He has one more range creep. As long as my melee minis don't rush down to the back line and snipe it. He didn't hit me with the middle of it, so it's kind of whatever. All right, he needs to back off immediately. I'll attack W. Flash that. He's dead. Got him with E. I'm on ghost as well. Got first blood off of him. Apparently Zerath didn't die, which is a little surprising. Dude lived with like 1 HP. Legit. 14 HP. He legit had like less than 1. Warwick's not. Ooh, okay. Alright, we'll take it. Not bad. That was kind of spicy. First item rush against their team. Mm. It's actually a really tough call. I could just push Berserks here. Or go Lucids. I don't know. We spent too long in base though either way. Berserks and Lucids and Swifties is all you want in AP Twitch. Swifties, Lucids, Berserks. I was thinking Berserks because Zerath's going to be pushing wave so hard that with the extra attack speed, I can probably match it without blowing all my mana. We're about to get such an XP advantage on him here. Huge XP advantage. He's throwing out his Q2 early is the main thing. Also, having a tax speed makes it easier to last it. You can get more minions at the same time. For sure. Lucy's aren't quite as good for last hitting. Oh, he shouldn't have thrown that out. He needed to wait till I autoed. We'll run up, get as much minions as possible. Auto attack W. I see Uyer is rotating, so I'm not going to chase it. 
I had vision over there and I saw exactly where Uyur was coming from. The minions are pretty neutral here. We're on a massive movement speed bonus here. He didn't even see us. I don't think he thought the Zerest unlanded. Eh, I don't think E would have killed him there. Yeah, certainly not. They can't kill me like this. He's literally dead now. He's literally dead. Hit him with Q, I pop E, down he goes. I only had one stack of E on him, so I knew it wouldn't kill. I might as well wait for work to do some damage on him. They're playing way too uh, aggressive is the thing. This is by no means a good matchup for Zerath because a lot of Zerath players want to mindlessly shove wave and take control that way. If he's doing that, we can threaten a lot of damage on him. So the best thing for him to do was just to play the lane slow, keep all of his HP high and wait for ganks. If he waits for ganks, that's his best bet. Cause I don't necessarily outscale him in team fights if he positions properly. With that being said, like I said, this isn't an easy matchup for Zerath to win. Most mid lane matchups, neither mid laners can kill each other pre six. Mid lane is one of the most babyish, childish, and coddled roles in the game outside of AD carry. Because it's such a short role, it's such a short lane that even if you're misplaying, misstepping, whatever, it's uh, harder to be punished as top lane. It's such a long lane to be chased and frozen on. Got it, just barely the poison nicked it. I'll go around bot side with Ghost. It might be where Zerath is anyways. Or not. So he's going to push the wave there. I'll go around bot. You do have a control word right there though, that's gonna make it kinda hard. Wooter died, I'm not sure if he even gave up a red buff there. Zerath missing. It completely missing. I'll just go ahead and shove then. He might have roamed to use his R, I don't know. It's hard to say. Got it pushed without even using W, but we did miss a minion for it. Yeah, his Wrath went bot side. That's a mistake. He only has tier one boots, he's gonna miss a lot of gold and XP, and I'm gonna get plates. Don't mind if I do. We just go on top side. Ooh, yeah, just barely got it. Looks like they actually killed my uh, Mundo top there, the Uder gank. Ezreal thinks he's gonna play mid now. They're gonna run double mage bot lane in Lucian. That's gonna be tough. Lucian dodges a skill shot and engages. He's gonna tear him up super hard. I have R, we can auto attack W reset, whip him down. Got it. I'm not sure what Zerath's flashing for, but he is. I'm on ghost extensions here. I should have saved the mana for my E. There he goes. I barely had the mana for that. We got some presence of mind mana back so we can re-engage here. And now we get even more mana back. Very cool. And I'm still on ghost extensions as well. This was a very long ghost. This was a 25 second ghost total. Because so we got the Morgue, Ezreal, and Zerath. An extra 5 second per each. It goes all the way up to 7 seconds per each. Just the higher level your ghost is, the faster it makes you go. And the longer the extensions last. Alright, let's reset. It's time. We gotta stay alive and not throw our mesh stacks like last game. Super important. We'll go for... Against their team, I actually think going for uh, Night Harvester would be better here. They have such good CC that if it lands on me, I'm gonna die. So even if I have Crown, if they hit me with a Mork Snare or Zerath Stun, I'm probably gonna die in a team fight to where I'd rather have a Night Harvester here. Presence of Mind is usually enough in team fight to keep you from running out of mana. 
Nash is too important not to buy first item on Twitch. The damage output is ridiculous. It's a really strong standalone item. I like I'm roaming this way. They see me going that way, but I'm really going over here. I have control word to scan. Lucian gets the kill. He's dead if he steps up. That's why he's playing so far back. Looks like he was roaming top lane there for a moment. Couldn't quite get the stun. Ezreal's TPing back bot. TP Ezreal isn't very good anymore. That used to be the meta at one point. Ghost and uh, heal are so impactful that running TP feels really bad. Wait, why is he running that way? The heck? That was weird. He might have actually saved his Ezreal there by running like that. Unfortunate. He was going to Krug and then he just swapped path and it timed out my Q unintentionally. Got a big wave crashing mid. This is when having uh, Relentless Hunter is nice. Typically you swing for Treasure Hunter on Twitch since he's so gold hungry. The more gold you get, you get exponentially more carry potential. Go ahead and pop that before it dies. Nice, nice, nice. Those minions were as worth as much as Zerath was anyways, and we had no guarantee he was going to stay and turn around like he did there against Haim. Warwick should be able to pick him up. Oh, my minions are too good at last hitting. Got it. Oof. It's not dead yet. Hey, Haim's tanking? I can't even tell what's happening. I'm dead. That was absolutely not worth. That was so forced. We didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Good thing I didn't have mesh. I only lost five Dark Soul stacks instead of ten mesh. Oh, well. Let's go for Night Harvester here and for a Farsight Alteration. Zerath just went being from Giga far behind, so now he's probably as fat as I am. He got uh, 700, that's 450. He got over 1,100 gold from all that. It's a lot. It's way too much. It's a big wave to catch. Mundo struggling topside. This game's not over yet, man. Their bot lane's close in CS. Their top lane's ahead in CS and in kills. And Zerath just got all that shut down. And down they all go. Let's see if Zerath stayed. If he didn't, we'll just push for the roam here. He should, have, he should be back from base by now or close to it. No, he went bot lane instead. What a goofball. Well, Uder, I have to punish somebody here. And you, my friend, are that somebody. He's going AD Uder. I think they just nerfed AD Uder, didn't they? I think they did, yeah. Down he goes. I think I think before the nerf, AD Uder would have killed me potentially there, even with as far behind as he is. Yeah, nice try, Ezreal. My goodness, he's almost dead. I can live with less than 100 HP there. Oh my gosh. He has no idea. No idea how much our passive does. Please be greedy, please be greedy. Ah, he wasn't he wasn't too greedy. Rip. Oh, almost missed the cannon. We got it all. Nice, nice, nice. I can't go deal with the Gwen. I don't have the mana. I can't afford Night Harvester either. Buy a big chunk of it, get the fiendish and amp tome. Never mind, don't want to sell my refill quite yet Draxel is probably our win con they don't have a good answer to Heimerdinger outside of Zerath poke for example if Udyr or Gwen engages Heim's gonna wreck him same with Lucian and there's Zerath still not uh, really ahead yet he's kind of just on par
surprised he would have even shown up there. He's not playing mid against me anymore. I'm not playing against anybody at the moment. Yeah, it's just Ezreal now. They've been swapped for a while. Hey, friend. Do you want to die, Ezreal? Say yes. It's the only right answer. And down he goes. That's why you take Ghost. He had Flash. I had Ghost. He dies. I live. Is she not going to use her abilities? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that Flash like that. I was also anticipating on killing Morgana there. She kind of just kept running off to the side when she didn't even know I was there. Very strange. Got the Night Harvester speed up now. Really happy we didn't pick up Mesh. Otherwise, we'd have zero stacks. It's such a big investment as well. Third item you typically want to go for, Rabadon. You can even go for it second if you already have a full stacked mesh or a mostly stacked mesh. The needlessly large rods are incredibly expensive. Be leaving base with a big chunk of gold here. They don't have an ink gauge, they're all squishy. Gwen squishy, the Udyr squishy. They don't have a way of uh, getting on us, I don't think. Warwick went for Ravenous Hydra. Ravenous just got nerfed. It's still good. Unwork is the first item rush. But man, losing 4% Omni Vamp. It hurts. What the heck is Ezreal building? He's either trolling or he accidentally did that. What in the world? Two, double call field hammer. He almost died from that. <laughs> you know, if I got off one more auto, he probably dies there. Yeah, got it. Uter is up there. I don't want to walk into him. I, I feel like my teammates are going to be able to kill him. Warwick uses E. He should be able to survive it. Yeah, no biggie. Is Lucian going to be kind enough to give me a leash? Thank you. I actually needed that more than he does. He's so much faster than everybody once he's in combat and dashing around. I'm not unless I have ghosts. Why is... What in the world just happened? Who... Was that Morg exhausting me over the wall? Or was that Zerath exhausting me? That was really strange. I just wasted my E right when she zonia Still get the resets though. Auto attack W. Yeah, he only got off one auto there. He didn't get off all three. I can't even hurt her because I'm not inside of her stupid little circle. I barely live though. Ezreal is the only one alive. And I'm missing too much HP to do anything here. Probably just die to his R if I stay. You gotta get out of here. Which is, when you play him AP, he's so good at killing squishies and tanks alike. Squishies you can usually kill with just three three autos, a W, and an E. And tanks, you, you kill really fast as well because of your true damage. So I like how Brand shreds him down with his max health percent. Twitch does it through raw true ticks. Ah, uh, might have been able to kill him there if Morg didn't do that. Oh, almost died. Oh, they both died, and I got ghost extensions. Oh, give me that assist, baby. No, 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 no. Am I going to get that assist or not? Wait, he actually didn't die. What in the world? I just got a big speed up. <laughs> this Q was on cooldown. I knew he couldn't kill me with this single auto. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, they're trying so hard to kill me. I'm not gonna let him have it though. Man, what a game. You can pick up Mej and I need the C large rod. 
I don't think I can afford double needless here. Mesh is ridiculously expensive. Yeah, you can't afford it. Something that bums me out about Treasure Hunter is it doesn't do anything after you finish it. With Relentless Hunter and the other ones, they still continue to help you once they're fully stacked. Treasure Hunter stops giving you any gold and doesn't do anything else once you have it finished, which we do. I forget how much gold it gives total. I think it's somewhere around 500. Yeah, bonus gold collected, 550. It's not that much. The only reason you do it on Twitch is he's extremely gold reliant for getting the Mej and uh, the Nash and whatnot. Because before he has either one of those, his damage output is definitely not very high. It's, it's consistently underwhelming. Wow. Those vision plants are ridiculous. They even break your wards. Oh, he got the stun. This time's insane, dude. Is there anyone over here? Let's see. I'm not... Okay, there's Ezreal. I light him with a W. Wow, that exhaust is so broken. It made my E do pretty much nothing against him. I almost died there. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Um, I'd be able to kill Uder if he runs south. Southbound. Warwick picks up the kill. All right. Okay. A lot of games on Twitch don't even last till Robidon because if you fall super far behind, it's hard to get there. And if you're really far ahead like we are, they usually surrender. You're able to end before you can even get it. Pretty common. Morgana's about to be up. I can kill her really fast. I don't think she can see me either. But boy, she's taking her sweet time. She's taking her sweet time leaving Fountain. Holy moly. Where are these guys? They're all hiding, bro. I can't get to them. Oh no, the Prowler's outplay. And then they surrendered. What a bunch of freaking turds. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most in the game at 26k. A little surprise Lucian didn't have the most for damage taken, middle of the pack, and for runes, high value. Twitch mid is a whole lot of fun, a very interesting play style, and always a good time. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.